Welcome to my video which shows how to order Cisco iImport using CSCC. So this will be used as an ordering tool, not a quoting tool. You would have presumed or I have presumed that you have done the quoting uh, in Compass, like what's shown on the screen here, uh, using CCW and SMS3. That being done and good, we need to uh, create a checklist which includes reseller bill to IED, install site, software contract, enterprise SKU, hardware contract, serial, start and end date. If you don't have this, then you won't be able to do the, um, the order. If you do, go to estimates and quotes and click quick price. The first thing that we need to do is change the reseller bid and bid ID because that defaults to us, to the, to the reseller themselves. This then changed to secure link as this is the quote we will be um, using. Uh, as this is going to be a software contract first of all, uh, I'm going to change the hardware service level to none and I'm going to change the subscription to the ESESI as the email security inbound protection. Take the enterprise SKU and put it into the enterprise SKU field and then press proceed to quote. Next part will show uh, an enterprise SKU level pop up box. You do not click that if you want to do multi billing, multi year billing. Sorry, once I've done that, I click on the pencil to edit the line that I've just included, and I need to do that so I can put in the right quantity, which is 350, and also specify the start and end dates. And this contract it starts on the 4th of Jan 2013 and it expires in three years from that date. After that, I need to then associate this software to the software contract number. So I copy the software contract number and then I paste that into the target contract. I will then, then also need to include the site ID, also known as this install site, and click next. I click on the same as install site, so it will bring through the same information. And for the delivery method, which is showing as electronics, I'll put myself down, or the reseller or the end user can also be used. The ship to contact, I'm going to change that to the end user and press OK. OK, and so that was the software added. Now I'm going to add the hardware. So under lines, I click add new lines uh, and I will need the serial number, so I put the serial number here, and this overrides any other information, so that's good, so press OK. Uh, and as this is a hardware contract now, I'm going to change the hardware service level to SNT, change the software to none, and also the subscription to none, as this is going to be the hardware element. Uh, the start and end date, I'm going to put the same as the software. And in the same way that I associated the software to the software contract number, I'm going to associate the hardware to the hardware number. So I'm going to put in the hardware number in the target contract and also confirm the uh, install site here. And press OK. OK, so if I scroll down, that there you can see I've got the hardware and also the software. Press save just to make sure that I don't lose any of the data. And the only thing I forgot to mention is that there is an error details tab, which if you want to just check to make sure that you haven't done anything wrong, you'll click on that tab. So I'll do the same here. And if there's any errors, it will show up. If not, there will be no errors populated. So next step, I'm going to click to view standard quote because this is what will be, will be required to continue the order. Uh, as you can see, the values are populated, so looking all good. I click validate and save. And I'm going to do that online. And the purpose of that is to uh, validate what we've just done. Once we've validated that, we will then need to perform full offline validation, which then means that the system will then uh, provide a validation confirmation via email. And once that has been provided to you, this grayed out box here will then ungrade itself, and then you'll be able to press that and place an order using your purchase order. 